Hello again, everyone. I'm Mike Morkin, and joining me is a new face today. This is Mike Larson. And Mike, the nickname, just as it says on your uh, shirt there, is Sarge. That is correct. Sarge, now where are you from? I am from Moorhead originally. Okay, and now you are working at Teddy's, Teddy's in downtown yep. Fargo. And how and long then, have you been doing oh, that? I came on board with Teddy's right before Christmas. Okay, and today you're stepping in and uh, filling those big shoes of Chef Randall, yeah, right? Yeah, I don't know if I... <laughs> a little nervous, no. <laughs> That's okay. Take a deep breath and tell us what we're going to be preparing today. Uh, uh, today we're going to do a bruschetta, which is a simple appetizer, Italian, uh, tomatoes, onions, garlic, basil, just kind of tossed in an oil and served on a We a mentioned this toast. heading into this uh, segment that uh, your vegetables look incredible. Where did you find those? I actually went down Saturday to the Red River Market. So the market. And, yep. Said, I need some good looking vegetables. And they are. Okay, so what are we going to do? Uh, first, we're going to start, you know, get the uh, garlic here chopped up. And, and if there's any nice way I can help out, you garlic. let me know. <laughs> Easiest I find is you just kind of squish it. Now, this is a great uh, appetizer or appetizer something. Or just snack, even. Uh, we have it as an appetizer on our menu. Um, at home, me and my me and my roommate were both chefs. <laughs> okay. uh, we'll just fix a plate of it and snack on it all day. Oh, you slice through that so easily. <laughs> and same thing, you know, onion. We just kind of cruise through that. And down at Teddy's, you've got a quite quite the menu. Tell us about that. Oh, uh, it's a it's a, a te, uh, American cuisine. Um, we have sandwiches, some pastas, uh, ribs. In fact, I. Uh, just saw something on sous vide, so we've been actually just started doing sous vide. Nice. Um, I've had ribs going for 18 hours now. Nice. <laughs> so hopefully they'll come out. You know, just a little garlic, onion. Ours turned out well on that episode. That. In fact, you can find that episode on valleynewslive.com just to let the folks know about <laughs> it. Basil, a little opal basil here, and uh, just regular green basil that I picked up too at the market. Chefing out that, which is just real thin strips. I am actually growing some basil in my little above ground garden at home. And a lot of our stuff, a lot of our produce is locally sourced mm -hmm. at uh, Teddy's. I've got a guy in West Fargo who actually hydroponically grows our lettuce and our basil. I can eat it year round fresh. He picks it an hour before I need it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> a lot of people have commented on it's really how, how is it so fresh and the flavor is so different. Tomatoes, we just dice them up the same way. And for, for this rep recipe, I mean, how are we? How many are we going to be able to feed uh, with this the amounts one that here, you're using? With the, what I've got here, you know, it depends on how big of eaters you have. Yep, yep. About four or five people. Okay, great. Set it out on the patio and uh, enjoy. Oh, that looks good. Tell her really <laughs> picked the other day. <laughs> That's basically the simple preparation nice. there. <laughs> so then what do we do? Uh, we're going to take some toast points. We can get this uh, you know, all the way up, keep it down. Get it there back. you do it. <laughs> Last thing I want to do is blow the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we, we, we play a fire a lot. Okay, there you go. There you go. <laughs> now, when that gets hot. Yeah, and no, it doesn't take long. <laughs> no. <laughs> I like to say, you know, where I was in culinary school. The chef came in one day and said, I got a quiz for you all. We're all like, oh, great. He's like, why do you want to be chefs? Oh. A whole class is like, uh, how do we answer this? Well, me and a buddy, we started laughing. The chef's like, I'm not even going to want to know what you guys want. I said, well, it's easy. We could do everything mom and dad ever told us not to do. Very we good. could play with fire. We get to play with sharp knives and we get to play with our food. Well done, well done. <laughs> and he got an A for the day. Yeah, and he almost fell off his desk laughing. All right. <laughs> so why don't we take a break? We'll throw this on the grill when it comes back and then we'll taste it. Right? Yep. All right, stick around. We've got more right after this. <laughs> 